what's going on y'all so uh for this video you know uh the lord gave me a dream regarding the metaverse thing and being honest like i never really even heard about the metaverse thing i never really thought much about it or really looked into it and stuff like that but the lord gave me a dream warning people about the metaverse thing that it's not something people should be doing uh just it's it's so many things on there that uh it's just demonic about it uh and just causes a lot of problem uh especially if anybody that's in the body of christ shouldn't be doing metaverse uh it's like a virtual gaming thing um and i just want to share the dream i had so basically uh in the dream uh everything looked virtual uh everything looked virtual and the way i knew it was metaverse because everything looked like the sims and stuff like that it looked like the sims game and then um when i woke up from this dream i looked it up uh the metaverse thing i see how all those people on the metaverse look like sims characters but i'm gonna uh, explain the dream so so basically in this metaverse thing i was this i was in the metaverse for in the dream um and it's like the lord allowed me to see what be going on when people be playing and stuff so it was like i was outside in this forest and i saw these like these three girls in the dream and i felt like they was like my classmates or something like teenager high schoolers there's like young girls and these three girls were just talking like girl talk. They were talking about like their boyfriend and stuff. And out of nowhere, it was like this older gentleman overheard the conversation and started to join in and talk about sex with them. Like how there'd be sex scenes on TV. It just started talking about sex with them. And when I saw that and heard that, it's like I'm like a bystander. It's like I'm seeing all this stuff. I felt very disturbed. Like it felt uh, weird and awkward. It didn't feel right him talking about that just because the age difference. And it just felt uh, very disturbing, like uh, like some pedophile type stuff. Like it, it didn't feel right at all. Uh, it felt like perversion. I got perversion from seeing that, uh, and like uh, that's why I was getting on there. And when I looked it up online, uh, I looked up online about the the metaverse thing. And on metaverse, uh, I saw when I looked up online about metaverse, I seen how. There's a woman that was like sexually harassed on Metaverse. Um, she claims that she was groped and sexually harassed on Metaverse. So I didn't even know that um, until I looked up this stuff afterwards after having this dream, which shows how the Lord was showing me how there's a lot of perversion, a lot of lust uh, uh, in this Metaverse stuff. And it's like people seeing that stuff on the little VR and the Metaverse thing, uh, the 3D virtual gaming. It, it, so the Bible lets know that, that our eyes, like our eyes is like the gateway to our soul. Our eyes need to be seeing pure things like the word of God and stuff like that. But when our eyes see stuff like that, uh, perversion and lust, those demons can enter in people. That was the Lord showing me too. Like, like people dealing with lust and all these things, it could enter in people through this metaverse stuff, through all this perversion they seen. So when I seen that scene in the dream about those three young girls, they was having like girl talk, talking about their boyfriend or something like that. And then that older gentleman started joining in, talking about like, sex and them it just felt just i felt disturbed so <clears throat> i was getting like perversion from it and that's another reason why we shouldn't be or no one should really be on uh metaverse and it's like the lord's like kind of warning his people about this stuff uh about being on metaverse is not something good to be on uh then there was a certain scene in the dream it was like this monster it was chasing after a group of people in the woods so this monster interpreted as a demon um it's basically demons in this metaverse stuff uh, this virtual thing is like it literally try to get people, you know what I'm saying? Try to li li try, literally try to enter people, uh, enter people uh, through seeing all this stuff that people shouldn't be seeing, uh, you know. And I'm gonna talk about other stuff I was seeing in the dream as well. So, also, I seen the dream too. It was like, uh, I seen the dream, it was like I was walking outside with someone I seen, it was like this wasteland, it was like so many people disappeared, like. Like almost like the book of Eli. It looked like the book of Eli or like I Am Legend. It was like, uh, it was like almost like no one was there. Like people disappeared. I interpret that as like almost like the rapture. Like it's like they, like predictive programming. How like the rapture is about to happen when it's going to be all these people that's just gone and disappear out of nowhere. Um, and that's why I was getting from that part of the dream. And then later on, um, uh, it's like in the dream, I seen like, uh, like this dude was in this car, this dude was like smoking weed in the car. So like in this virtual game and this dude was smoking weed and then like three cars pulled up, one per one group in the car that's wearing all black, one people in the group that's wearing all yellow in the car, one people was wearing all red, almost like some gang activity that dude that was smoking weed like ran away. So it's like 
almost like in this metaverse thing i guess like people could like do drugs and stuff like that and you know seeing that stuff uh in like the metaverse or vr that 3d stuff even though they're doing it like in that that stuff like the spirit of like um behind that you know what i'm saying seeing that stuff seeing the weed and stuff like that it tempts people to do that stuff in real life and it starts making people think like you know when people be on this vr stuff like that they be on it all like some people might be on, on all day you know, and the Lord showed me how that all that demonic stuff could cause like perversion, lust, being idle, like idolatry, you know, being idle minded, just sitting there, being on that VR stuff, uh, the spirit of murder. Because uh, uh, what I saw also, too, I saw in the, it was like in this VR, there's like a mission of like this dude and like protecting this dude. And it's like these zombies start coming out of nowhere. All these zombies start trying to chase people. And I, you know, I heard it as like demons. And I looked up the word meta. The word meta in Hebrew means dead. So this whole VR thing is like a universe of dead people, dead zombies. So it's like, it's just demonic. And then it's like, also they had, uh, when they first introduced this metaverse thing, I, I had to look it up too, because I had no idea about none of this stuff. I started looking up all this stuff after I had this dream the Lord showed me about warning people about being on this metaverse stuff. And it's like, I seen they made like a satanic ad, like an advertisement by Facebook. Like it was just completely demonic, like the advertisement. So the word meta means in Hebrew, <clears throat> it means dead. So I seen in the dream also is like these group of people, um, I'm, these, these group of people was getting chased by uh, some like demons. Uh, well, zombies, but I interpret it as demons. And basically they was like shooting the zombies and demons, stuff like that. So it's like, uh, I'm interpret like, you know, they, they have like shooting games on there, like the metaverse, the, the VR game, and they might have like shooting games, like stuff like that um that stuff could cause a spirit of murder or spirit of killing you know um i know i remember before in the past um i used to play call of duty all the time um just on like playstation and stuff like that now as i grew closer to the lord the lord convicted me not not playing those things because it, it that's that's the stuff it's a spirit behind that we should our eyes shouldn't be seeing that type of stuff uh what we see and what we allow our ears to listen to is very important um we need to have our eyes on the word of God. We need to have our ears listening to the word and things of pure, just honest and good things. Um, and set our affections on things above, things of Jesus Christ, not on these things that causes like perversion, lust, and idolatry and stuff like that. And I share about how, you know, the woman claimed that she was sexually harassed. So it's people doing some nasty stuff on this metaverse thing. And also, even if it's not just nasty stuff, it's just like idolatry. This metaverse thing make people think that uh, this VR thing, people make people think that their life on um, that VR stuff is like their actual life instead of the reality life of living, you know. And it reminded me of this whole dream and the metaverse thing. Whole reminded me like in the past before I came to Christ, I seen like this show. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the show, The Black Mirror. It's like Black Mirror, like uh, it was a show like they predictive programming a lot of stuff on that show. So one of the episodes I remember was like this VR episode. That episode was really weird about it, by the way, but it's basically kind of remind me of that, how people, and it also, like, they had an episode, too, about everybody just kept looking at their phones. Like, everybody kept looking down at their phones, spending time on their phones, and it's like all this stuff could cause idolatry, you know, being idol-minded, which is taking away time from us spending time with God and Jesus. You know, and, and people that do this stuff, like, we make that decision, you know, or people make that decision to do that. And it's important that we need to make the decision on trying to go closer to God. You know, but the Lord basically gave me this dream about this metaverse stuff and just how uh, this metaverse stuff is just not right at all. You know, it's not it's not it's not good at all to be doing this stuff. And uh, basically, I you know, I just the Lord just like kind of just, you know, speak it to me and just let me know, like to warn people about, you know, about the metaverse thing. You know, he was just showing me all these things because it ain't right. It's not good. Uh you know, and it's just it's a lot of spirits behind that when the stuff people see, especially with the VR thing, it's so close to your eyes and it's like you can hear people have the headsets all that. It's like if people see killing on this metaverse stuff, on this three D stuff, like that spirit of murder stuff can like seeing that as the eyes the gateway to our soul, you know, uh you know, it have people uh you know, deal with these problems, deal with those spirits, you know what I'm saying? It's like they're opening doors to their life. The Bible says neither give place to the devil don't give the devil no opportunity. Don't give the devil any place in your life. And this metaverse stuff, seeing those things, if you're playing killing games or, you know, maybe like GTA, a lot of perversion, lust, uh, just, you know, uh, 
just lawlessness. You know what I'm saying? Just all this stuff. It's a spirit behind that that people are opening doors to their life when they play this stuff. You know, um, uh, anybody that watches that have like kids, you know, you know, uh, just you know, make sure be careful of your kids playing this type of stuff. Uh, kids should not be, and no one really should be seeing this type of stuff. But it's like the Lord spoke to me about this in the sense of giving me like a dream about this metaverse stuff, just warning people that this stuff is not good um, at all. Um, you know, everything I say, you know, pray about it. Pray about it for yourself. Take it up to God. Um, you know, um, I just encourage you guys to just continue to read the word. Continue to set your eyes on things pure, things of the word of God, things of Jesus. You know, to continue to build that prayer life and spend time with God for yourself. Um, and this is just to warn people about, you know, Lord, I mean, warn people about just this metaverse thing because this metaverse thing there's just a lot of demonic things in it even the, the they made an advertisement that was demonic through facebook uh the whole metaverse thing when it comes to uh you know what people being exposed to with their eyes or if they have headsets listening to the game you know what i'm saying uh we gotta guard our eyes and guard our ears you know being sensitive to the spirit realm any disturbances in the spirit we need to be sensitive to it sensitive to it and make sure we don't do those things um, to deny the flesh, to deny the, ourselves, take up our cross daily and follow Jesus. But um, I believe it's something like this. A lot of more younger people probably deal with this or involve themselves into. Um, but just the Lord is saying it's something that's not good to do at all. Um, it's just it's it's too many things on there that's like demonic. Um, and maybe it's just, it also and also in a sense too, just like even if they playing like good game or stuff like that, just idolatry in a sense of like, it could cause you to be idle minded and play the game so long and have an addiction to it. Or just in a sense of just, you know, uh, they think the gaming stuff is their reality instead of just living life how, you know, we live and stuff like that. So the Lord just wanted me to talk about these things. Um, he put in my heart to talk about the thing. He gave me this dream about it. Uh, you know, pray about God, about everything I said, but I just pray, uh, you guys continue to seek God for yourself, seek the word, you know, continue to read the word of God um, and just to, uh, you know, pray for discernment as well. In these times right now, I remember the Lord told me about this year. He said this year uh, it is going to be a lot of blessings for the body of Christ, uh, a lot of abundance uh, that might be, uh, you know, godly marriages, finances, all these things. But the Lord did tell me this year it's going to the body, the body of Christ needs a lot of discernment. Seek the gifts of discernment of spirits. You know, understanding what things are good or bad, what things are from the Lord or not from the Lord. You know, uh, in this year, in this time right now, living these last days, it's, it's important that we as the body of Christ have a high level of discernment in our life. And we receive discernment from God. God give us this gift, but we have to seek this gift and continue to seek God for who he is. You know, continue to submit to God, you know, submit to God and his word. Uh, removing ourselves from distractions so we can hear from God clearly. You know, that requires fasting and all this stuff and consecration, you know. But I just pray you guys continue to seek discernment, you know, especially in these last days because it's important we have discernment. But it's nothing to be afraid of, you know. Just make sure, you know, we we being in Christ, God is our protector. He is our shield. He is our fortress, you know. God did not give us a spirit of fear, but he gave us power, love, and a sound mind. So continue to be strong. Continue to seek discernment in these last days. But I just want to share with the dream that God gave me about just this metaverse thing. Um, you know, pray about it, but I love you guys. Y'all stay blessed and encouraged in Jesus' name.